Morgan and Peace have been the hot topic of the year 2023. Two in the book so far, Uncirculated and Proof, another one coming out very soon, mm -hmm. Reverse Proofs. Now, question for you, Steve, though, what have you seen to be more inquired about? The Morgan, the Peace? Well, um, I think the honest, the honest answer is, even though the Morgan is that one coin that's always on top of the charts, there have been more questions asked about the peace dollar from this year. And I think we sell 120 yeah. to 100, so yeah. probably a 20% okay. more on the peace dollar uh, because of one thing. I think people love that modernist, modern issue right. look and feel to it. And the best news about tonight is we finally get them both in stock we do. to talk about it at the same time. And that is the uncirculated and the proof. And it's offered tonight as a your choice for a low price of 109.95 each. And what we mean by your choice is uh, there actually have been people that said to me, do I have to buy, do I have to choose just one? Does that mean I could only buy? No, absolutely not. We put the your choice up. So if you joined us with the uncirculated earlier in the year and you didn't get the proof yet, here's your chance to get the proof. But if you want, if you're a proof collector, if you're uncircul, you know, et cetera, et cetera. But buying both, absolutely. Look at the difference. If you, if you wanted to know the difference between a single strike and a proof strike, this says it all. Because both of these coins are struck in high relief, which is the original 1921, which was done the same way in 2021, and they've carried it forward this year as well with the 2023s. Beautiful. But again, an uncirculated strike is a coin that's intended for circulation. Now, these special issues aren't, but they don't change the striking process. They do not polish the dies. They do not polish the planchion. They do not strike it twice. They strike it once. Looks beautiful, great detail. The proof, on the other hand, is exactly the opposite. They polish the dies. They polish the piece of metal, the one ounce piece of metal, the silver here. They strike it twice. And with the techniques and how they strike, they can frost it as well, which is why you get that contrast. Boom, it's like a mirror. You can see yourself in it. Now the proofs are struck at San Francisco, so you can see the San Francisco mitt mark to the left above, uh, below the word one, just like the original peace dollars. The uncirculated coins struck at Philadelphia, no mitt marks on those, just like standard issues. But both of these are 0.999 fine silver, and they each come in their original government packaging. That is the OGP that we all reference to all the time, but they come with the original box and certificate of authenticity as issued by the United States Mint. Both of these quick, quick, quick sellouts and the mintage figures are also very small 275,000 uncirculated pieces were made and just 400,000 on the proofs tiny now they made 175 and 200 in 2021 and you can't find the 2021s in uncirculated condition because they never made anything other than that for under $300 today so on the UNC side, our competition is now at $179, $70 more. But here's an extra little tidbit on this pair, right? They never struck a proof peace dollar, period. This is the, this first, is the first ever in U.S. history. They, never, they didn't strike any of the Philadelphia proofs either. They did not do it, right? So on the big scale, the peace dollar, 21 to 35, and then again, 20, 2021, and now 2023, the 2023 San Francisco, the one on your right side here today, is the very first ever proof peace dollar struck by the U.S. Mint. Now our competition wants $189 for the proof, so they're $80 north of us. Steve just referenced the uncirculated, the one you see right now, and our competition's uh, $70 north of us on that one. They're at $179. If you do buy them both with us tonight, versus our competition, you're gonna save literally $150 for the same exact two, two coins. And again, a lot of people jumped in and knew there was gonna be a piece in a Morgan this year, right? The question was, is when? The communication was not clean. It was difficult for a few people to understand. I know the unks were out in July, sold out instantly. The proofs were launched at the ANA right on top of the Liberty Series. So it kind of got buried in there. And the answer is no, they're out. The unfortunate part is, is um, good luck finding them. One of them is like all over the place. I mean, you can't 
I mean, you can't find, other than one here, one there, any of these unks anymore. And as, and as you brought up the question earlier, Ali, um, questions asked. We get customer service, our concierge service. We, we, we're interacting with individuals like yourself all day long. And of the 2023 product, the biggest question is the piece. And I think it's because of the look and feel. I mean, the whole idea, this is the last coin of President Theodore Roosevelt's coin renaissance, right? We started with the gold in 07, 08. Then we had the Lincoln, the Buffalo, the trio in 1916, Mercury Dime, Sandy Liberty Quarter, Walking Liberty Half Dollar, and then the coup de grace, the peace dollar in 1921. Statue of Liberty look, eagle on the reverse, overlooking the pond, symbolic of the end of World War I, olive branch in hand. People just love the image. It reminds them of the Statue of Liberty, the symbol of freedom in America. Um, so, I get it, I really do. But when you look at them, how strong the strike. It looks like, in high relief, the eagle is actually above the rim of the coin. Right. And the answer is, uh, uh, he, she is. Yeah. <laughs> so, it's obvious. On the other side, you see the hairline. And that hairline is so sharp as well. So, tonight, a great opportunity. It's all about value, with our competition Give or take 180 or more, 179, 189, right? For the same exact pieces. And they're both from the same thing. Have them in stock, we'll ship tomorrow. Ditto. Other than we're saving a lot on this side. And this is the first time we've been able to offer them together. Just can't keep the inventories in stock stable at any one given time because you get a rush. I need 100 this week. All right, I need 100 that one this week, and then we're pausing. So finally, we said, hold it, we're holding back coins for a conversation tonight. We have so many questions about it. you got to give us a call, folks. Uh, we do have to put a one-minute clock up. Now, if you've joined us with the uncirculated, you got to get the proof. If you joined, joined us recently with the proof, you got to get the uncirculated. The reverse proof is coming out very, very soon. And I'll tell you what, the more time goes on, the harder they are to find and the more popular they become. Try to find a 2021 at this point, right? Uh, it's celebrating the 100th anniversary, and the 2021 was uh, an explosion. It, think of Fourth of July fireworks when those coins came out. And nowadays, they're even harder to find. So don't let this time opportunity pass up for these two, because like I said, as time goes on, what do the 2021 sell for? Look at how clean the look and feel here is, right? I mean, these are made in pure silver, unlike the original Morgan's .900 fine. You can really see the contrast between an uncirculated and proof. Again, as you said earlier, walking right into this conversation, it is number two of the three that are out this year are out. You know, these are the ones that have passed. They're gone. But right now, it's not too late to get in on some of the best values. I mean, silver eagles and proof, can you get them for 150 bucks? No. This is significantly rarer. Give us a call.